Hey Clara, so I um, just wanted to record a quick video for you and uh, show you something. Uh, so your mom gave me this uh, sample of, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, uh, it's some sort of a uh, soy milk protein thing. And uh, your mom says there should be some interesting fungus in here, like some sort of yeast or something. So I thought what we, what we could do is we could uh, put it on some, some of these uh, petri dishes and see exactly what's in there. Um, so, uh, what I've done is I've made my hands clean with some, uh, alcohol, which is very good for killing bacteria and fungus and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my, my Bunsen burner. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, so what I have here is a, what's called a wire loop because it's got a little loop on the end. So to make this sterile or clean so it doesn't have any bacteria on there that I don't want, what I can do is I can basically just heat it up in the Bunsen burner flame until it grows red hot. And so now that should be free of any bacteria or fungus or anything weird like that. So I'm just going to put that there. And I'm also going to label some of these petri dishes with today, which is uh, 19th of March. Two. Okay, so um, I'm also going to put on here what it, I think it is. So this is some sort of uh, soy milk yeast. Okay. So I'm just going to sterilize my hands again. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stuff out of the bag. It's quite ucky stuff. So here's the, the bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open this. Next time your mom gives me some samples, I'm going to give her some actual tubes. So I'm going to work near the flame, which helps me keep bacteria from the air and stuff away. I'm just going to heat up my loop again and let it cool so I don't kill the bacteria I want or the yeast that I want. Stick it in the bag. Take up some... Uh, some of this, uh, some of this stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay, now, ooh, it smells like, uh, it smells like lactobacillus. It smells like, uh, lactic acid and acetic acid, and, oh, this smells quite nice, actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I make a line on the surface of my plate, just a little bit. I don't need all of it. Then I'm going to burn it, burn the sample, get rid of it. Whoa. What I'm going to do is, whoops, touch the outside of the dish, I have to sterilize it again. There we go. I'm going to cool my loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the line in a new direction. And the hope is that I can get some, some bacteria just all by themselves. So I can just get one type of bacteria or yeast. Okay, now I'm going to do this again. And this is called making a streak plate. go in a new direction. Okay. And one more time. Okay, so that's one flip. Now I want to do this again, just because I want to 
see if I can get some different bacteria or yeast. So I go back to my sample. If I can get the bag open, that's, that seems to be a problem. Whoops. There we go, I got some sample. Whoa. Good. Clean my hands really quick. And uh, okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing again, except this time I'm just gonna make a lawn. Where I basically just streak it out all over the surface of the plate, just so I can see what grows, just for fun. I have to be really careful with this uh, this alcohol here because it it burns. See that? So if I have too much on my hand, I could actually light my hand on fire, which would be uh, bad. I'm just gonna spray this on here though, so I can try to get rid of some of this this milk. Now it should be really interesting to see what kind of bacteria and yeast are in here and what they actually like to eat. So since soy milk. Uh, it contains a lot of protein. We should hopefully find some bacteria and yeast that can, like, that can degrade protein. Well, let's do this one more time just for fun. do is I'm going to put the sample back in the bag and I'm going to hold on to it just in case I want to play with it again. So let's go ahead and seal this up. And what I'm going to do is fold the bag a little bit. I'm going to put some tape around it. And put a label on it so that way nobody throws it away because it looks kind of like garbage so we don't want somebody to get the wrong idea. I'm just going to write Sean. Uh, what should we call this? Uh, soy milk. And we'll put the date which is 19 to 17. Well I hope you enjoyed that.